As a student, I've struggled with motivation throughout my entire life. Whether it was a small task such as doing my homework or something bigger such as working on an important school project, I've always had trouble completing my duties. The two-year quarantine that was the result of the COVID-19 pandemic has taken a big toll on everyone's motivation, including my own. I had an extremely hard time adjusting to my surroundings after spending so much time at home. During this time, I struggled to complete any work because I was completely consumed by my distractions. I spent more time scrolling on social media and wasting my time because it felt like I had nothing better to do. When I returned to taking my classes in real life, I was completely lost. It felt like I had to learn everything all over again. I had also just transferred to a new school. I was very stressed out. I was scared of making the same mistakes and failing again. I was caught up with everything around me. I wanted to make new friends, leave good first impressions. I wanted to get good grades, impress my teachers. And naturally, I was having a hard time doing so. I couldn't keep up with my classmates. I struggled with making meaningful friendships. And my teachers were very unhappy with my performance. I had basically given up on doing anything to get better. My motivation was at an all-time low. Soon enough, I came to the realization that I needed to make some changes, or I would end up being in serious trouble. So, little by little, I started making adjustments in my behaviors, which resulted in me improving almost every aspect of my life. One of the most important realizations I've made is that though my goal may be hard to achieve, I should not let insignificant obstacles stop me. For example, while doing homework, I used to give up every time I faced a problem I couldn't immediately solve. But I've acknowledged as to how much I've missed out on due to this. Even if you couldn't fully solve the problem, it's the effort that counts. In order to be able to do this, it is important to have a solid goal in mind. It is essential to have a specific objective as it should be your biggest drive to complete your duties. After all, it's what all your work will amount to. For, in for instance, when I'm having a hard time finding the motivation to prepare for an upcoming test, I always try to think about how happy I'd be if I got a good grade or a compliment from my teacher. And that always sets me back on track. As I said, as a student, I often struggle to complete my schoolwork. Most of the time, it is because I am uninterested in the assignment that I'm given. Even though it's quite hard to do so, I always try to find interesting aspects of the work that I'm doing. I'm much more invested in my job if I actually get pleasure from doing it. For example, last year I was very unhappy with my grade in geography. My teacher also ridiculed me for not putting in much effort in my work. So this year, I have spent more time studying and I've discovered that geography is much more interesting than I initially thought. Nowadays, my teacher always tells me how glad she is that I've improved. Another factor that plays a big role into ensuring that I'm motivated is working with other people. Not only is it very useful to ask other people's suggestions and find inspiration that you can use in your work, while working with other people, you can be in a competitive environment where people push you beyond your limits. Personally, I really enjoy working in groups because I get to discuss different fascinating topics with topics with my peers, and I get to develop my teamwork skills. In addition, while working with other people, I am inclined to try my best. Knowing that others will be observing my work process makes me perform much better than I usually do. Furthermore, it is really motivating to be around people who encourage you and support your journey to achieving your goal. It was these exact tips that have helped me over the previous year to become a better, more productive person. Compared to the past, I've been getting better grades, better assessments from teachers, and on top of that, I've had a lot of free time to do things I enjoy outside of school. I think it's safe to say that I have made a lot of progress. And as a matter of fact, anyone can. We must all realize that anything can be done as long as we put our minds to it. I could have never imagined I'd get to the point I'm at now. Two years ago, even the smallest tasks seemed impossible to complete. But with effort and determination, even the biggest obstacles can be broken down. You should never underestimate the strength of your willpower. Thank you.